In today's video, I will try to help you identify why your Arduino Uno isn't uploading and that's coming up right now after the intro. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world! My name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. So like I said in today's video, I will try to help you identify why your Arduino Uno is not uploading. We will be going through a list of possible problems you might be encountering. I created this video to help you narrow down some of these problems, but if none of my ex solutions are helping you out, then please don't dislike the video, but instead go to the description down below as I will have put in a link to the official Arduino site for problems like such or you can go to their forums to ask you themselves. But let's not waste any more time, let's jump right into it. The Arduino software. So the first thing you might want to be checking is in the Arduino IDE itself. So open up Arduino, go to the upper left corner and select Tools. Now go to Board and choose the board you are using. If you are using something else than the Arduino Uno, maybe an ESP32, then you have to install those boards first. You can go watch my video on how to install an ESP32 on Arduino in the upper right corner now or in the description down below. This might help you on the right track for installing other boards. Back to the problem solving. In my case, the board is the Arduino Uno and in this video, I will be assuming you are using this as well. Then again, go to tools, boards and select the COM port your Arduino is plugged in. Now here is where it might go wrong. For some of you there might be a COM port and for some of you not. For those who have a COM port there, great, select the one you are using. If you are not sure which one to select, simply remember the COM ports there are, there are like COM port 3, then unplug and check again and you'll notice that the one that you needed is gone. Now plug in your Arduino back in and check again the port and select the correct one. Now if you don't see your COM port, I advise you to restart the Arduino IDE and if the port still won't show up, it can be one of the next problems. The physical connection, missing drivers, no access to the serial port or even perhaps the bootloader. Physical connection. Now if you are lucky it might be something with this. Firstly, you want to make sure the port is on. So look at, look at it, and if the green LED is on and the Arduino Uno is connected to the computer, you are fine. Otherwise, check whether your Arduino is connected properly. If not, plug in your Arduino Uno. If it is plugged in and the green LED is not on, maybe shove the USB cable a bit further into your or computer and or Arduino Uno. Now even if the green LED is on and you check your ports in Arduino again, and there is no port, I suggest you go to the port drivers. If the port is there, then yay, great. If you have selected the port, but still can't upload, perhaps go back to the Arduino software part of this video. Try those out again, and if those don't work, you can come back later to this point. Now let's try to disconnect pin 0 and 1 while uploading. These are shared with the serial communication. You can plug these pins back in after the upload is done. If that doesn't work either, try uploading with no pins at all connected to the board. Apart from your USB cable, of course. Next, make sure the board isn't touching anything metallic or conductive. Now, if that's not working, try uploading with a different USB cable. Sometimes they don't work and make sure the USB cable allows serial communication and isn't only used for powering or charging a device. I made that mistake once and that drove me nuts. Drivers. Now if your port is still not showing up, it might be because of the drivers. The driver provides these virtual comms, COM ports for you to easily access them in Arduino. If nothing has worked so far, or you are getting the error this device cannot start code 10, you might be using a cheaper Arduino. Anyways, the driver that you want to install depends on the microchip you have on your board right here. If this chip is an Atmega chip, you should be fine by installing the normal drivers supplied by Arduino themselves. 
You can install these by opening your device manager. Then you should try to identify the device with a problem. This should be flagged with a yellow exclamation mark. It should look something like this. If you have found this device, you should right click on it. In my case, I will be selecting the normal COM port as an example. Now once you right clicked on the port, select update driver. Now you should select browse my computer and click browse again. And if you have Arduino installed normally, you should go to C, program files 86, Arduino and then drivers. And then press OK. You see this is the pod. And select next. If you don't find Arduino on that location, it might be in the other folder called program files. So not the 86 one. Or you can watch the video in the upper right corner right now or the link in the description. In that video, I go through the beginning of Arduino Uno and you can skip ahead to the installation part of that video and then come back to this video. Now if the board does not have an Atmega chip or the installation did not work on this device, you might want to go to the website from where you've got your Arduino Uno board and download the driver from there. So let's say you've got your Arduino Uno from this site by example. Now you want to search that website for the drivers and look, over here there is a link to a driver for the CH340 chip to be precise. This might be the same for you, you can always try but again I advise you to look on the website from where you bought your Arduino Uno. But once you have found your correct driver, go ahead and download this one, go to your downloads, search for CH34, unzip this file, ok, double click into the folder, double click on the exe file, install this, yes, install. It's successfully pre-installed and now you should be able to open up Arduino, uh, your Arduino IDE and select the correct COM port if the driver was the CH340 like in this example. Let's hope that worked out for you. If my explanation was too unclear you might want to watch the video in the upper right corner now or in the description down below that video will show you how to install the driver onto your Arduino Uno. Access to the serial port. Now if the software is just too slow to start or crashes on launch or the tools menu is slow to open, you may want to disable some of the Bluetooth serial ports or other networked COM ports in the device manager like so. These can cause large delays of crash or crashes. Also make sure you don't have any firewall software blocking any of your serial ports. Perhaps try turning off your firewall for a few seconds and try uploading then, but don't forget to turn on your firewall again later on. Bootloader. Now the last thing to try is to reset your board. This is the red button next to the USB port. Make sure the Arduino Uno is powered when pressing the button. And when this is done, the LED on pin number 13 should start blinking like so. If this is not happening, you might be missing the bootloader and then I advise you to check out the official link of Arduino in the description down below or the video in the upper right corner that video will show you how to burn the bootloader onto your Arduino Uno. So if none of my options helped you out, well firstly I advise you to go over at the official Arduino Uno troubleshooting page where you can try out their advice and if that doesn't work then you should try their forums and submit the problem with your Arduino Uno and see if you get any response on that. As well there will be a link to my Patreon page containing all of my code or schemes that are shown in all of my other videos, link for that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one, goodbye world.